of the keys and deliver here about another advanced OBS tutorial and again another plugin from Exceldra. We're literally what a week in. It depends when I've uploaded this, but we were two days in and he dropped two incredible plugins. So you probably see my camera looks a little bit different and this nice little gradient in the background. He has added a gradient source, which I'm gonna fade in and fade out now. That is the gradient source. I've already asked for some modifications to this plugin, so it's gonna be even better when you guys download it, which I cannot wait for. But let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how it works. Put your rug for the stone. Let's go. So just like every other plugin, get it downloaded from the OBS website, okay? The link is just here. This is the website as you can see from our, the one and only Exceldro. Huge shout to you. I, I have no idea what else you can do next. I have no idea, but this is the gradient source, so you know how you have the normal color source inside of OBS. This will allow you to add a gradient to it as well. I have asked for a few feature changes, so hopefully that will be here when you download this, and that is choose a direction that you want the gradient to go in, and also the midpoint, so you can choose where you want the midpoint of the gradient to be as well. If you guys have got any ideas, please let us know. Definitely let us know let us know in the comments and we'll see if we can make it a reality for you So get it downloaded just hit the download button as you can see just up here and you can choose whatever platform you want I prefer to use the Windows installer that way it automatically um, Gets it all plugged in you don't have to do any like finding folders copying or anything like that So just get it downloaded get it installed if you need any help I've got plenty of other videos showing you how to install plugins as well once it's all installed Make sure you do restart OBS otherwise it won't work at all so you need to make sure you turn OBS off, put it back on. If it's not working, maybe make sure that it's not running in the background when you've installed it or anything like that. Restart your computer, maybe. It should work. So to see if it's worked, you just got to press the plus sign on the sources and you should see gradient. We press gradient. I'm just going to call it gradient for now. That's okay. And we've got all these settings. So as you can see in the background already, it's just set up a full normal 1920 by 1080. You can change the resolution to whatever you want on there as well. So you can change the width and the height, but we can change all the colors first. So if I press select color, it does a normal color col um, select. So I'm going to say uh, this Andy Lippy blue, as I call it. And the other color, we're going to use this nice pink color. That's okay, and you can see hopefully the other settings will be there as well when you guys get around to uh, downloading it and we can just Create a color source just like that So it's a nicer way of doing just a solid color Especially if you're like me and you like to create alerts and things like that inside of OBS You're gonna be able to get a bit more creative with it or just add a nice little kind of Feel to your stream like I did in the opening video and that you're sitting on this video It's just got this soft two colors on it's just nice it's just nice guys all right you can also change the opacity as well so if we turn that down as you can see the uh, the blue is is starting to fade out and we can leave that on 100 for instance i'm going to zoom out for a second put this over here and i'm just going to put my media source back on and as you can see my media source in the background with this nice overlay on top as well. Combine that with things like the move uh, value plugin, how I got that to fade in and fade out at the beginning. If you've not seen my move value, definitely go and check out that video. It's just up there. And that's pretty much everything there is to it. It's super simple to use, nice and easy, but it will add just a little bit more different to the stream. Honestly, it's just get a bit creative with it. Show me what you guys are going to be using it for as well. Join the Discord and show me, and we'll see where we can uh, do some collabs together and showcase your ideas, okay, guys? Put your rock of the stone. Much love, and I'll see you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full-time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.